Jeff Gray, an awesome individual and champion of police transparency, who has for years created solid content under the brand Honor Your Oath, was yesterday snatched up by Brevard County Sheriff's Office employees. Gray, who had been in Miami meeting with Photography is Not a Crime founder, Carlos Miller, was on his way back to St. Augustine when he spied a vehicle stop and brought to the situation the objective lens of his video camera. Though Gray's footage hasn't yet been made live, a recording made by his wife was uploaded to YouTube. As three men wearing Brevard County Sheriff's Office badges approach her husband, who is off camera well away from the vehicle stop, she questions the situation. What is going on? What's going on? Apparently, filming police activity in Brevard County is so threatening that it necessitates three Brevard County Sheriff's employees to intervene. It is not. Who are you? I am his wife, and you guys are making a big mistake. Okay. He was told to leave. You better get that camera out of my face. He was told to leave several times. He thinks this is a game. It is not. It is not. But okay. what I'm saying is not against the law. how dangerous it is to stand behind a patrolman when he's doing a traffic stop? He doesn't know who you are. Okay? He's got to worry about him now instead of the traffic stop. Okay? Do you think that's fair to him? He's standing over here while I'm within no, his rights. No, he's right. walking around. He's walking around the deputy, okay, making him nervous. He's got an obligation to the citizens of that car and his family to go home at night. He doesn't have to worry about somebody who thinks it's fun to walk around a patrolman on a traffic stop. Okay, he's impeding an, act, an active investigation, and it's unacceptable. I'm going to tell you one time, one time only. Take this vehicle and leave this, this parking lot. You're not free to be on the roadway, the county right away, or in this parking lot. You're now trespassing. I'm only going to tell you that one time, okay? Do you understand what I'm telling you? Yes. Here's his property. He's going to the Park County Detention Center. Where is that? I don't have to tell you because if you're not going to cooperate with me. I'm not going to cooperate with you. What I'm telling you right now is get in that seat, move this vehicle. I called the Brevard County Sheriff's Office to learn their stated policy about filming police actions in public upon which the police employees claim to operate. I asked to speak with Wayne Ivey, the top dog of the outfit, but the deflection by his colleagues never allowed that to happen. Yeah, hey Karen, I want to let you know I'm recording this call for my records, but I was hoping to talk with uh, Wayne Ivey, please. Okay, I don't believe he's in the office. I can check. Uh, sure, my name is Pete. My last name is Air. Okay, and will he know what the call is about? No, we haven't spoken previously. Okay, can you give me any information regarding it? Yeah, I was just hoping to learn some, uh, what the policies of the Brevard County Sheriff's uh, deputies are trained on in terms of uh, people's ability to film their actions while they're uh, working in public space. Okay, one moment, please. Thanks. Office. Yeah, hi, uh, sorry, what was your name? Christy. Okay, hey Christy, my name is Pete. Uh, I'm recording this call from my records, but I just called and I, I believe I spoke with your colleague Karen and she was going to try to transfer me to uh, Mr. Uh, Wayne Ivey and I believe my call got disconnected. Oh, okay, hold on just a moment. Thank, thank you. You're welcome. This is Bobby, can I help you? Hey, Bonnie, I want to let you know I'm recording this call for my records, but I was hoping to uh, talk to... Excuse me? I w sorry, I want to let you know I was recording this call for my records, but I was hoping... I'm not allowing you to record this call. Okay, well, I'm, rec I'm recording the call. It's my uh, right to record I, I, an interaction I, with the public. I'm telling you I'm not allowing you to record the call. Okay, are you, do you operate on public uh, taxpayer I money, man? I'm just saying I'm not allowing you to record my phone call. Okay. So that, that's my right. Well, actually, you're a public official, correct? You operate on taxpayer money? I'm not allowing you to report. How can I help you? Uh, I was hoping to speak to Mr. Ivy, please. And your name? My name is Pete Ayer. Okay, and Pete, what's your phone number? Uh, well, I was hoping just to speak with uh, Mr. Ivy if I could. I'm, I'm sorry, he's not available right at the moment. Okay, is there, so, is there a... Can I have somebody give you a call back? What's your phone number, Pete? 
Uh, is there a shift uh, supervisor I can speak with? I'm sorry, there's not anyone available right at the moment. Okay, yeah, I'm just trying to ascertain the uh, policies related to people filming police employees out in public uh, while they're on the job. I was hoping to speak. Policies on, on filming? Correct. I'm training on this. a number, I can have somebody call you back. Okay, um, I mean... Yeah, I'm not trying to be difficult. I guess I just find it hard to believe there's nobody in house that would be able to talk uh, about the situation, about these questions. I then inquired from those at the jail where Gray had been brought of his presence. Oh, hi, jail. Yeah, hey, I want to let you know I'm recording this call from my records, but I was hoping to learn if uh, there was an in individual being held there by the name of Jeff Gray. Uh, he, well, he got out today, actually. Oh, he's out. He's no longer there. Okay, all right, I appreciate the info. No problem. Take care. The claim made by one gentleman involved in Gray's kidnapping was that the actions were necessary due to officer safety issues, which is a complete farce. Clearly, Gray was targeted because he filmed. Be on the lookout for some content from Gray about this incident, and if you have a minute, I encourage you to call those at the Brevard County Sheriff's Office to share your thoughts about their unacceptable actions. Also, for those of you in the area, as Carlos Miller pointed out in his write-up about the situation, Wayne Ivey and his colleagues from the Brevard County Sheriff's Office will be at a town hall meeting. That'd likely be an excellent forum to pose some questions.